Yeah, look, we got to talk about this because I'm having what's called, I, I'm called, I don't know what the word means, but I'm having an existential crisis here. But first, tell me about what your, your voting was. What, what, what have you, you voted early. I voted early, yes. Okay. But I'm a poll worker, too. I'm, I may be poll working, but I don't think so. But right now, I said, let me at least get my vote thing in. And, and I took a senior with me. Mm -hmm. uh, she was she 87 and but what she do you know she's got a wit about it and um, and it went uh, it went pretty well okay. so, uh, no yeah but there was a lot of people you out in New York so there was a lot of people voting right I sort of I, I was there and I saw lines around a block or like 115 yeah. streets something like that yeah okay when I tried the uh, the first day I was just going to see what was happening and and I thought they were doing the okie doke like mm -hmm. trying to confuse people. Mm -hmm. Uh, because a woman who's supposed to be politically connected mm -hmm. is giving me an address <laughs> and the dress. So when I was just getting off the bus to check it out, it wasn't the right site. So I what? had even told people that based on this information that I had from this most reliable source, I said, oh, we were on the bus. I said, oh, there's the place where they're having the, um, where they're having the early voting. <laughs> Oh, so okay. now a guy says, oh, no, that's not the place. I said, oh, no, you're wrong. And he says, look, I don't know who you know. <laughs> and so we get into a little uh, thing. But, well, wait, wait. So I'm saying to him, he says, well, I don't know your lady. And I was telling him, oh, this person is, I know, and she's reliable. So he says, look, but, you know, he wasn't being disagreeable or anything. He says, look, I don't know your friend there, but I'm telling you this is what they told me. Mm. And then I say, well, uh oh, well. well, well there's, a, there's a lot of they's going on here. You know, I, I'm suspect when they say they, I, I put quotes around the they's, but go ahead. Continue oh, okay. on. Well, uh, he said, look, I don't know who, who that, for who your person is, okay? And then I thought about it for a moment and I said, well, she's usually, you know, got Got her finger on the post. I said, oh, uh, uh, and then somebody said, finger on the post politically in your area? What, what, is she local to your area? How do you know her? Yeah, okay. I know her. I know her from uh, way back because she's like from Cadet. Okay. Uh, mm. You know, from the Cadet menacing. Yeah, 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 I got you. You say cadets, what, oh, what, 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 like, like, I don't know what the cadets are. I grew up in a, I was there for, for, for nine years old and 19. How do I not oh, know wait, what the kid You know her, uh, Dee Dixon. Or whatever, just go ahead. So, so, okay, so, so, let me go with the story. So how okay. is she politically connected so now, is what I'm trying to so figure now, out. Now I'm thinking, uh-oh, wait, wait, you know, when I get off the bus and the place, the place looked like it could have been it if you went by quick. Because it had the blue and blue and white signs that are usually posted outside the um, place. Okay, but I'm already off the bus. So i like, let me go follow this up. All right. I walk around the corner, and there is EMS, the fire department, and the popo, and they all the all parked, double parked, okay, right around the corner, close to the place. Mm -hmm. Not only are they parked there, but they got the lights on, lights flashing and things, okay, like there's some kind of emergency there. So I now now I'm putting myself in, in in somebody else like who got off the bus. I'm imagining, well, what if it was one of those people? They're Latinx. They looking, uh-oh, somebody did a hummer on me, sent me to the wrong address. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm role playing now. And I said, and I'd be all upset with all these flashing light people there. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, this, you know, I could be racked up by ice. So now I said, okay, stop being. Oh, hold on a second. If you're, if you if you if you if you if, 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 if excuse me, hold on. Six so so Hey, hey, hey. Hold like on, up. hold on. You get you're moving too fast. How oh, could she have any thoughts about ICE? You're not going to go to a, if you're not registered to vote. You're not going to a, a voting place and get picked up by ICE. That's the word. Last thing you're going to do is do something That's illegal. That's right. That's right. Okay, so now I'm thinking, what if that was one of those people who were on the bus? Oh, that lady told me about this thing. You know, they, they seem pretty, you know, sure. She seemed pretty sure. And she's getting off the bus. And now she sees these people. I would be stressed out if I was that person. Okay, hold on. I don't know what this, I don't know where this story is going. Let me go Wait, back I'll to you. Let me, sure. let me I'm go back. <laughs> 
Yeah, go ahead. I called the lady. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I called my source. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up. Okay. She sounds like she just kind of woke up. So she's saying, because this was the early vote in like um, uh, between 10 and, and something. Okay. So she says, um, I tell her, look, you gave me the wrong address. I said, you told me it was the school on the corner. She says, oh, I thought, uh, I said, well, wait a minute. Something said, where did you get exactly, how did you get this information? Because remember now, I'm in doubt because the guy on the bus was telling me something. Okay. So now when she's doing a, uh, 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 you know, I'm like, where did you get that information? And she proceeds to tell me, Oh, I got it from the paper. Okay, or the newspaper. So I said, oh, I said, that's What bad. newspaper? Was it the Post, the Daily News, New York no, Times? No, I have, no, wait, I didn't ask her which paper. Okay, all I said is, where did you get it? Uh -huh. Because I wanted to know that she got it from a person. Okay. You know, one of these political people that she, she knows. Right. Okay. So it was not a person giving her that. Okay, she now had to agree that she got it out of the paper. And I said, yes, but you maybe didn't read it correctly. I said, you gave me a name and that matched up with the building on that corner. And it is not the right building. Where is it? So she said, oh, I, I, I have to call you back. And she hung up the phone. All right. So she finally, you know, calls me back. But while I was waiting, I went around the block and I, I found it, found the place. And when I got there, it was a mess. OK, the block, it was around the block. It went uh, like four, four or five blocks if you had to go all the way around the school. Ooh. And um, and the line was a two hour line. Mm. And that was the. That was the second day of um, early voting. In New York. And at that time, that time, they did not have any kind of special thing for um, for seniors or the disabled. Mm. Okay, but by the end of the, uh, the end of that evening, uh, they were letting, somebody called me um, and said, oh, oh, you, want, you need to come down and vote. They're letting seniors in. Um, you know, just walk to the front of the line, okay, even though somebody else told me, oh, when I walked to the front of the line, you know, all the people were talking about, there's a line here, there's a line here. <laughs> and I said, I didn't pay them any attention because I knew I wasn't there to do anything other than just check to see about absentee ballots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they didn't have it worked out. That was bad. But at least by, um, you know, the end of the second day, they had that, and the message got around uh, the community that um, they were doing that. Okay, but I thought they should have had that, you know, known. Okay, look, Sister Sarge, we got to go into other things. But I have a question. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think I may have told you this before. Here's what I understand. This is so funny. They have all this energy into New York. Now we do know that New York is what we call a blue state. I mean, if it's yeah. not the state, at least the city is all blue, right? Yeah. That means that when you vote, the only thing you're really doing, if you all vote and you vote, as we say, blue, let's say you're going to vote. I'm not saying this is how you voted, but let's just say you're going to vote for Biden. And let's say you're going to vote for Biden on a Democrat line. What's going to happen is that if that's going to get counted, because I, I, everybody says you're voting. I say it's a poll. It's just an official poll. People don't get that I'm through the head, that. you know? But here's the thing. This means that when, when it, 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 let's say, for instance, well, did you see your ballot? Did, 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 let me just ask about Biden. He's on the Democrat line, right? He's on the working families line, though. No? He, no, he's on four people's line. Oh, okay. he, he, he was on. Um, he was on the working party. Mm -hmm. uh, he was on the Democrat and somebody else. Ooh. Liberal. Oh, Is, but I, I know it, it made some um, importance to be on the working party. For them. Yeah, well, well, hold, now, wait, 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 go back. What are the other lines? Was it the liberal line? No. Was it liberal? Oh, I don't know the other one. Oh, there's okay, two others. Okay. Here's why. Well, let me tell you. No, let me tell you something. 
if it was on the working party's line, and you say it's a tally, that's important. Suppose because in my book, what it's it's saying is at least the people who may have, for me, have more confidence that if they put their thing, if they put that vote under the working party, now Biden will know. Okay, you got the vote. But you got these people. In other words, more likely Bernie people would put their name on the working party. Let's leave Bernie out of this. You don't know what Bernie people are going to do. But let's, I let's, don't know. I'm a Bernie person. That's why I'm telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now, hold on a second. <laughs> But you know why? Here's the but the only problem with the working parties line because when I was voting a long time ago in New York, when working parties first started out, I put everything on. I did. I use them because it gives them a cachet for next for the next go round. You yeah. see. Yeah. But more okay. importantly than that, it takes the it takes the it, it takes let's call it the shine away from the Democrat Party, which is a whole machine that we need to get rid of. Okay, hold on yeah. a second. That's yeah. if you're into electoral politics. Now, if I was to vote in New York now, because the working parties for me working parties line, whatever, has been taken over by Cuomo, then I have to avoid that one, too. It was? Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, another one. There's another one to vote for. That, oh, oh. And that, is, that is the Green Party. Uh, okay, there was a Green Party. It's probably another one. All of, well, yeah, the Green Party is separate. Now, um, hold on a second. Let's not confuse it. I'm just trying to say, if you were going to vote for Biden, then you're in a blue, got, yeah. you're in a blue state, There's no, and, 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 there's, and he's on more than one line. Other yeah, than Democrat, no, no, I, I'm agreeing. Then you should I'm vote on on another line. Now, if you and here's that's one that's one solution for you people that are just so into Biden. The second thing I would say, if you're in a blue state and you know he's going to get the state anyway, again, yeah. in order for the Democrats not to get or for him not to get a so-called so mandate, then you should actually vote either write somebody else in. Or the Green or, Party. Or, or, vote, Green or, vote, party? Or, vote, or vote the Green Party. The Green Party that would give them some cachet for the next for the next go round. Yeah, but, but, but more important, yeah. but more important, but more important. No, no, no. I, he said that. In fact, that guy said that. Okay, so he was and he was on WBAI, and he had said exactly that. He said, "Oh, Biden's going to win. Biden's up by thirty points or something." I said, "Huh? You really sure?" <laughs> so he said, "Oh, he's up by thirty points." If he, you know, he doesn't need this thing, but we need it because before they used to only need like fifty thousand votes. He said now they okay, change. Okay, it, okay, okay. You, like you're talking to working parties now. That's I'm past that right now. Hold on, I'm going to something else now. Forget that. That's working parties. That's fine. But I'm saying something else. You don't want whether it's Trump or Biden, whether wherever you're voting, you don't want to give them a popular mandate. Do you understand? What, here's what I'm saying. Why? What's going to happen now? Because then they'll go out and party and say, oh, they, everybody wants me to do this. They'll have a, they, Their mandate means that they have a mandate to do whatever they want to do. No, no. No, that ain't. Okay. No, that ain't. You know we don't have it like that. Excuse they already me. have They already have the group, uh, like, what's this group? Cold Pink? The refused... The, uh, hold on. Whatever it is, Sister they already Sarge. got it. Sister Sarge. That, uh, that they're working on Sister it. Sister Sarge, f follow me on this. I'm not talking about some sort of group that say they're doing something. I'm telling you something really real. Okay. Uh, uh, an electoral ballot, uh, like I said, it's a poll. It's an official poll. In other okay. words, 300 years from now, when they look back, they're not going to be looking at some group that started. They're not going to be looking at some informal poll by so-and-so or some formal. The, the official record is going to be the U with the, the poll that the government has to count the things by. That's what you're interested in right now. Out. Any other poll, excuse me, hold on, let me finish this. Any other poll, any other scheme for what happens after this has nothing to do with what I'm saying right now. You okay. understand? Now, let me go back to what I'm saying. By not giving the vote on a Democrat line, or even to say if you're going to do Green Party, by not giving them the popular mandate, that takes some of his luster away. Do you understand? In other words, if he say, if they say he won by a landslide or the Democrats won for a landslide, the Democrats are going to go around like bragging rights, like, hey, we're so good, we're so good. Not not realizing that you was just voting against, you know, just, you was just voting against... Uh, voting you know, against Fathead, yeah. Right? So, so, here's, so here's what I'm saying. Okay. So what? so everybody thinks it's a wasted vote, either not to vote or to do whatever have you. I don't advocate in that. Well, you know, you don't have to vote for the other. But I, I advocate if you could write in, then you write in something. I, I say write in either producejustice.com or aus101.com for those those major things, right? Or if you want to again give some luster to some other party, you can do that. If you have if that's 
It's, if your state has that, right? And of course, you vote down ballot for the issues that you need, okay? Now, so we got that straight. So my problem, my thing is, anybody is voting blue, they shouldn't be voting blue. They should be voting, they should be voting uh, uh, the cat on another line, or they should be writing in. Because if your state is going to go blue anyway, then they don't need, you don't need to, to pile on that. You need to take, you need to rein these, 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 what I call them, I call them corporatists. Say again. You're saying use the vote if it's if in blue states that are going to be counted, you know, whatever. I'm saying use your vote. You have to know how to wield your wield your 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 vote. If you want to call your vote your weapon, which you that, then you have All to right. wield it. You have to wield right. to know how. No, you, no, know, no. you have to know what you're. Be strategic. Right. But I, okay. but let me just stay up top because this is where I have my little crisis right now. I need you to talk me down, right? Okay. Okay. So now I vote in Virginia. Virginia, I think they just caught it. They, they're sort of more blue now than, than, than before, right? Okay. But now I had this really problem. I've been listening to certain things. Like, for instance, I heard Kamala, Kamala you know, I don't watch TV enough like that, but I had some clips on YouTube where she appeared on, um, on 60 Minutes. And again, she was using that cackling laugh that I hated. Is that Hillary Clinton cackling laugh? Then you know my brain. My brain goes like this. The first thing I said is that you know, first of all, they want they wanted to pull that you know she's a uh, black, but she's blah 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 blah. So so that's what we call the Obama 2.0, right? But when I heard that laugh, I say she's not only Obama 2.0, she's Hillary 3.0. And what and what the Hillary? She's two things to me. She's Obama 2.0, and she's Hillary 3.0. Now, now my problem with Hillary has look. You you can go with uh, I, I could go with the Honduras model, whatever have you. But she killed an African leader. I'm sorry, she killed an African leader and cackled. She cackled. She laughed. Kamala Harris put black men in jail, and she says she's not doing. And she's laughing. These women are laughing at us. First of all, let me say this before I go on with my own little problem, right? I think the only people that can rescue us from Kamala Harris, I'm not talking about Joe Biden, Kamala Harris is white women. Here's what I would say to white women. Do you, are you going to allow a, 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 a Brahmin, you know, boule, black woman, right, to be the president of the United States before you white women are president of the United States? You can't let this happen. Vote again. <laughs> this is my thing. Vote for your boy. Vote for your other white supremacist because they're all white supremacists. But vote, vote, vote for, vote for the orange white supremacist. Do not vote for the for for the blue white supremacist. That's all I have to say. With this. So I'm just trying to say, white women who voted who who didn't vote for Hillary, they're the ones that made that made uh, Donald win the last time. Do your That's job right. this time That's too. Right. White women. That's right. Exactly. That's a, I'm going to say, do your job this time. White women, are you listening to me? Do your job this time. Okay, that's white women. But here's my problem. Oh, oh Lord. My friend, that's, that's a novel. Okay. All right. But, all right. Mm. It's a weapon. Okay, now here's my... Look, look, Sister Sarge, you got to help me with this one. Okay. I, I, I was coming down like I saw that. And so the, so she upset me so much. Now, normally I was just going to vote. You know, I would write in, like I say, uh, uh, producejustice.com or and, and, and other places I write in, you know, adus101.com. I, I, I had that in my brain. You know, I wasn't going to do it. And then a few weeks ago, somebody else said, well, you know, if you write in the, the if you write in the Green Party, you vote for the Green Party, you know, they're not going to win. But that gives them some cachet. So I was thinking of that, too. You know, I was thinking of that, too. Right. Then. What happened next is is really terrible. I uh, you know I, I just there's, there's, there's two people I really listen to. I listen to I, I check out when uh, this uh, uh, this uh, the I call him Doctor Randy. I will leave his last name out because he upsets people. He's he does this whole Christian thing. And Doctor Randy and Doctor Randy is a Trump supporter. He's gonna vote for Trump. Black guy, right? Okay. Yeah. How come? He's got. Well, you gotta. You gotta look him up. Do okay. I give you the Dr. Randy Short. Look him up. He he has a whole thing. He tells you why. He's talking about Trump is the one he gave money to HBCUs. Don uh, uh, Obama didn't. He's. He did. Yes. But he that's did. Like, yes. You know. Oh. He he uh, uh he he uh, you know, he actually if you really look at it, you know the only person. He had, he had a bunch of young black Republicans. You know what he told me? He said, your people build this country. Nemi, yeah. Nemi, 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 yes, he did. I saw that one. I saw that he one. That. He said that he had a bunch. 
Listen, I don't know why. Why don't people research? You keep everybody keeps on jumping on Donald Trump like he's he's bad. Okay, fine. Well, tell me that's fine. Now I'm telling you something. Research this. Well, that's what I'm doing. I got he, my pen out here. I'm he had a bunch. Up. Look, it was about a year ago. I think okay. I I think it was in October last year. He had a you know you know how they you know you know he's hustling everybody. He had a group of young black Republicans. You know the Candace Olden type of those kind of people. They were in a room. And he was talking to him as, as black folks. He says, you know, your people build this country. He actually said it out of his mouth. I defy you. you did you did you hear Kamala Harris say that? Did you hear did you hear Biden no. say that? Did you hear no. did you hear Barack Obama say that? No one has said that. Donald Trump did. <laughs> he did, oh man. And, and you heard him? You heard yes, him? Yes, I'm sorry, he was done. Look, look it up. YouTube it. You uh, uh, Donald Trump talking to young black Republicans last year sometime. But I'm not defending him. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not defending him. I'm just trying to say that this is what this is what Dr. Randy was saying. You know, this is what Dr. Randy. It's not what I'm saying. Okay, uh, but I mean, I heard that. But th he said that he uh, that, that that Trump because his whole trans le lesbian whatever trans whatever whatever they're muddy in the waters and, and they're going to do and and buying them going to do more for them. But Trump is he's, he's drunk against that. He's against pedophilia and all the rest of that stuff. So he went into that part. I want to get into that part. You have to look, let's look up Dr. Randy Short. S H O R T. Don't worry about it. He's a Trump guy. You see, he says that. That 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 also he's give, look, he said a bunch of other stuff. That's his position. No worries. But I but I, like we tell you, let me tell you, I follow. He makes more sense to me not about Trump, but about well, yeah, about Trump, but about a lot of other things that he's doing. So I'm in that camp, right? The other person that I listen to, as you may or may know, I have a long standing uh, 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 I'll say relationship, a long standing respect and 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 knowledge about uh, um, uh, James Small. No, Professor Jane Smoke. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I heard it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now he used to be on Normal Radio. He used to be my guy on Normal Radio. He used to be my 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 historian and philo and, and, and philosopher for Normal Radio. Right. In fact, he's the one. When I went, when I saw a, a real a authentic voodoo ceremony, is because I was hanging with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> an authentic voodoo okay. ceremony. You know, you don't get those things. You know, I mean, all kinds of things. But I used to I used to order his class at City College. All these kind of things, right? But he said something very interesting. This is for the Pan-Africanists, right? Here's what he said. He said, you know, Trump, he came to office. He started ripping up all those uh, all those contracts. You know, this, uh, we're not honoring this one. We're not honoring that one. You know, this, this treaty, we're not going to honor this treaty, whatever have you. This is what we call, I guess, in legal world, precedence. You see what I'm saying? Precedence. Precedence. You know, yeah, it, so if you do something legally and it stands, then, then everybody else can come behind you and do it, right? So if mm -hmm. Donald Trump can rip up all these contracts, then the Pan Africans, all these African countries that got these long term contracts, like 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 Haiti when they signed something away whatever two hundred years yeah, ago, right. and they still paying the they just finished paying the debt like you know a couple right. of years no, ago. No, I know, and the IMF, those, all, those IMF, all that stuff. Well, we can say Trump's giving just giving you a a a, a weapon, Pan Africanists. You everybody think they so bad? They, 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 they get busy. Just say you you we don't have to honor this. We don't have to honor this. Tear that sucker up. We don't have to honor this. This is what James said. But now, you think Biden did that, but Trump is actually, now, none of those people have done it before. Republican or Democrat before this administration has done anything like that. That's now, what I'm trying to say. Right. You're right. And that's why they were saying, uh, I, I don't know, they said why he, he has trouble with his allies. Because they don't But the, he's, that's, he's doing the same thing with them. So he doing something different? So that's a your friend? that's a strategic thing to me because you know, as you know, I'm you know I have a what like what we call a warrior mentality. So I'm always thinking of things how to disrupt and dismantle a system, right? Okay. Then, then the thing that I came up with while I was thinking of, I was listening to some other people, whatever have you, and but, but people don't understand when you when Biden comes back in, look at the people he has around him even now. And I'm gonna talk about who, who he's gonna basically put in, but even now, what they're doing is they're bringing back. They basically bringing back everybody that was in the Obama administration as well as was in the Clinton administration, as well as some regressive Republicans. That's what that's what Joe Biden is doing. Let me let me let me. No, you're right. He's bringing in Republicans, like trying to show yeah, how vegetarian he is, and I'm, I'm like. Are you crazy? But not even worried about that. My problem is not even with the Republicans he's bringing in. My problem is he's bringing in those same bankers that Obama gave cachet to. 
that Clinton kept cachet to. Just Summers guy is back. Summers is back from Clinton. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is when you when you bring in this Biden thing, you're actually you're doing a Clinton Obama Biden continuum. I don't know. Well, how is this? Sometimes a uh, 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 Biden Clinton, oh, okay. uh, a Biden Obama Clinton continuum. Just like just like when 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 uh, when W was in thing, they, they, all the people in his cabinet was from his daddy's administration. Some even from Nixon. I'm not Nixon. Uh, who was it before Nixon? Not, not, I mean after Nixon. Uh, 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 Reagan. So, so you know, you had all these like Reagan, yeah, 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 yeah Reagan, da his daddy, you know, all those people, and then, uh, and so he had those people, and then the Republicans thought they were going to do that continuum, but Donald Trump came in there and disrupted everything. So, but that's no better. The Reagan, the Reagan, I'm not saying it. The way he was crushing the union. I got you. Listen, I'm not sick. Why, why are you not listening? Wasn't I'm not saying this any better. I'm just giving you what's happening. So, oh, what, you need that two snakes, two snakes. Well, it was worse Somebody than that. Do. Look, here what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, as far as black people did anything, let me leave all that stuff alone. Let me go back. All I'm trying to say is the cabinet you get under Obama, oh Obama, under who this guy B B Biden. Right, Biden, Biden. it's going to be the same. Isn't the same be, isn't going to be better. He's, it's going uh, no. It's going to be the same momentum that you had under B Obama and Clinton, right? Yeah. Bush. He said that. He okay, said now, that. now that's right. Um, who's the other boy? Number uh, Trump, the Dunf man. The Dunf man. What he did is he actually jettisoned all those people. They, they, they know was the, the the Nixon uh uh uh, uh what do you, what do you call it uh, uh, uh Reagan uh, uh Doug, Doug, C, Big Bushy and 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 Junior and W Bush right they were supposed to go with Jeb but that got disrupted and 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 and, 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 and the clown came and started doing some stuff now they All thought right, they they. they now follow this. They did everything to keep Bernie out of this because they knew that Bernie would have been another kind of wild card. But the Republicans, even though they stuck with they stuck with with uh, with the R with you know with with with, with Mr. Trump, right? They they were still look how many defected to try to get Biden in because Biden is their boy. We're talking about corporatists. We are not talking about racists. We're not talking about white supremacists. Well, I guess we are, but we're talking about corporatists. So the corporatists are going to win no matter. But maybe not with 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 with, with the Dunf man. They may not win completely. You understand? With Biden, they will win completely because what they've done, they basically they're bringing. Basically, the 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 let's call it the the the, the Clinton Obama uh, uh, line like in uh, and along with and the Bush the line, in, along with the along with the the Reagan line in, they're all coming in together. Those people that you look at Biden coming, those are people from the Bush people. Do you understand? Yeah. So the, the, so it's a perfect merger like that. Now, my thing is like I'm going like now. Here's my existential problem. Okay, yeah. Should I vote? I'm really thinking of voting for Trump because if I get Trump, if, if Trump gets in, then at least I won't have that perfect merger with, with, with the, with the Reagan uh, Clinton, you know, model uh, in, 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 that's co co that's in this Biden thing. At least that won't happen. Yes. Yeah, some other stuff will happen, but I'd rather take my, I'd rather, I shouldn't say that, but I think that's what I'm thinking. This is my problem right now. So, and then if I vote for Trump, and say 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 he does win him, uh, and things work out, whatever you know, black people, or whatever whatever happens, then at least my conscience will be clear. If I if I don't vote for him, and we get Biden, and I know that I could have stopped Biden, then I have a, still another problem because I know what the Biden thing is. You understand you know, the Biden Harris thing? I don't even look at Biden. Look, I look at Harris. Now forget Biden. You know you know you you know this for sure. That all of the, you know, the the presidents that died that were elected in zero years, you know, like even Reagan was next in nineteen eighty. He been because his his wife got him out of this because she was reading astrology, whatever have you. But Reagan would have been assassinated. But the twenty, the uh, uh, what's his name got got assassinated. Uh, whatever, all these people in zero years. Plus every every election where every, everybody where where the president died in office, the vice president took over. In other words. Kamala Harris is going to be your next, next president. No. 
Joe oh. Biden, voting for Joe Biden means they could take this boy out at any That's time. That's right, because I, I see him walking away before the first, um, what's the name? Because if you, it, at this point, he's he's the wasn't up to the challenge of all of this election. He was out of the scene while um, a fathead is running around all over the place. So, so all, that sounds to me he has challenges already that they're trying to keep under wraps. So I'm, I can all, believe that he's not all, ready. All you know, I'm trying to say is everybody looking at this as the Biden presidency. I look at it as a Harris presidency. So, right. on, so my thing is like, I would... And what really upsets me is all of these so-called academics, these uh, Pan-Africanists, these whatever they are, these you know, these progressives. They're yeah, all, they're all, they're, no, no, no. They're, but they're all, they're all, they're all flunking. Hold on. You, didn't explain, you explained something to me that you know makes sense. All right, but I up to this point, I'm not seeing him walking here's some different things that could be done except for that guy um, in the Green Party. He's the only one that came up with something that sounds like, oh, what can I do, you know, with my vote that will be meaningful and, and do something different for, for black people. Because here's the thing, I'm saying that all these academics, all these people, they are our enemies. They have put us in this position. They they are not doing their due diligence. They're not telling us anything new. It's, it's, you know, they're, they're telling us things that make no sense to me. You know what I mean? It yes. makes no sense no, no. to me. And, and so, that's correct. Or they ain't telling you anything. And when you're not giving people anything, they, they they listen to, okay, whatever is in the mainstream or whatever. Oh, yeah, vote, whatever. No, but the, the left people are saying, oh, you know, he's, uh, uh, we already know that he's, he's not going to vote. He said this and whatever. And I'm like, well, if he said it, that he ain't going to do over, over his dead body uh, ain't gonna do the health care thing. I'm like, why am I voting for you? That's the okay, point. I want health care. I want um, I, I I want something on the environment, and I'd like to end and get rid of these endless uh, law, um, you know, wars that we're doing, and then use that money for social programs. What I'm saying is, this, here's this: the thing that's that's such, such a, a a thing with me is that. We, we for years we say how come how come people keep on voting against their own interests? This to me is the hugest voting against your own interests I've ever seen, ever. Right. So now I say now you you got the scenario. I gave you everything. So here's your sister Sarge. Here's your thing. You got to talk me out of this, man. I'm, I, let me, so what I'm trying to say is that I might be forced to vote for Trump. You gotta, you know, I'll, I'll lose my black card and everything like that. But you, okay, so, wait a minute. You, you, okay, to, you gotta talk something. me out of this. You gotta, you gotta okay, listen to this. Yeah. This is the one. This is the one that was making me uh, uh, decide what what is what. Okay, when all is 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 said and done. Okay, because I want to know who can I talk to. Who. Who, yeah, who is, who do I have, I think, has a decent chance of listening, I can get to listen to me, okay? If I'm a little black girl coming up to the White House, this is something, or I can get about a bunch of my friends behind me, you don't know how many friends I'm going to be able to get, but here's little black girls going up to there. From what I can see from Fathead, okay, this pandemic did it for me. Okay, the guy who did, the guy who knew about that rendazavit, when that uh, uh, hydrochloroquine, okay, had sent a letter and a YouTube to Fathead very early on, telling him that this is the thing that could do it. Remember, at some okay, point, on, stop, 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 whoa, whoa. you, 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 you lost me. I thought we were talking about access to, to the president. Now you're talking about the, the virus. This is something... No, no, this is, no, that's what I'm getting to. I'm trying to talk about access to somebody who will listen. All right? When he failed to listen to this guy who had a solution for this, vi uh, for this virus early on in the game, did nothing and walked away from it, talking about it's all a hoax and whatever it is, every day that he did that, 
there were thousands of people dying and the people who were going to be dying were more than likely seniors, brown and black people. That kind of callous disregard I saw in him. I'm not sure I've seen it in Biden or okay. Ms. Kamala. Okay, I got, I got you. I, uh, uh, let, let me say this. That did, that did not persuade me at all. Because okay. at the same time you say that, why didn't Biden pick up that, that mantle and say, no, we need to do this chloroquine or whatever this guy is saying? What did Biden and them do when this stuff was happening? They didn't give any solutions either. And let me, no. tell, you, let me tell you one other thing. Since you went, I didn't want to, I thought you was going someplace else. How, 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 can you talk to the president? Now you're talking about this virus thing. This is a whole other conversation. Oh, no, you know no. I, mean? I was going, can I talk to the president? I don't think I can talk to the president. But we, but, we not, not on a, not, black, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Not on the virus, but he got, he got black people. He, that's not a, that's not a black issue. Okay. I'm talking about a black issue. The virus is is, a, is everybody's issue. No, no, no. It's not just no, no, black no, uh, no, no. Uh, uh, I understand uh, what you're saying that more black people are, are more black people are, are, are affected, but then I have to go. Why are they affected? But right? yeah, because we get poor health. You know, we're over, over uh, the obesity, the diabetes, oh the, my, uh, right. comorbidities, <laughs> whatever have you. That has nothing to do with it. My, my point is, I don't want to get off on this virus thing because everybody does that, and that's why you're going to vote. That's fine, right? But my point is that do you think? If it, if you, do you do you think you're actually going to be able to get to Biden when he has all these other people tell tell him all exactly. other things and get them and, and stop the ghettos and stop the comorbidities? Do you actually think that's going to happen? Sister Sarge. Yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm 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 thinking about that. Look, I'm not, uh, again, I'm not I'm not defend, I'm not defending. Oh, well, you need the health care. You need the health care plan. Who's doing that? What, uh, but Biden is it? He, they still yeah. do, no, they're still doing the same thing they did with the insurance companies. My point is this. I look, I want you to talk me down, but not don't go with don't go with the health thing or whatever have you, because that's bogus anyway. That to me that's, well, what about, that's no no, but what about um, you're saying uh but what about the endless wars? Who's doing something about that? Oh, do you do you do know that when when, when Trump wanted to end, wanted to end, you know you know they voted against him pulling stuff out. You know that, don't you? I'm not again. I'm not defending him, but but you also know that all these people that's lined up behind Biden. They all these all these, that's your arms deal. That's the, what I'm trying to say is the regular crowd is going to come back in. The, in other words, the crowd, okay. the crowd yes. uh, under so Clinton. Whatever whatever it was before is going to be the uh, is going to be the same. The regular war market. In other words, the Okay, look. Let me put it this way: the people that the, the uh, donors, the don whoever they are, that that was donating to, to 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 Trump in the beginning, they they whatever they get paid off. But his family gets paid off, whatever have you. But not the regular donor people. They were they were left out in the cold. You see, he disrupted that whole pipeline. But that's not what I'm trying to get you to talk me down politically. I don't want to this whole. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to hear the um uh hear hear. That we got a better chance, and the only thing you said was him with the uh, Republicans and 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 uh, give donating some money to to the uh, HSBC. Well, what, okay. HBC I don't see what? him as listening. I don't see. But he listened him to that. Uh, look, 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 look. I'm not uh, even making any pretense. Okay, hold that on. He's hold, here's the problem. Here's the other problem I have. When these people are talking about voting blue, get by with. It sounds to me like people are trying to, how do you say, shore up the Democrat Party. They're trying to save the system. Now you know how I think. Come on, since you uh -huh. know you know me since I was a child. Uh -huh. My now thing, you, my you, thing is destroy the system. Okay. I'm trying to destroy the system, not shore it up a little bit more so we can limp along and they can keep on sucking from us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, don't, don't get me wrong. No matter who gets in there, I'm still doing my reparations thing. That's that's right, that's, right, that's right, right. No, no, I'm, no I'm, matter I'm, who's in there. I'm, my okay. point is like, why are we, why are we trying to resuscitate a party that keeps on trying to kill us? Kill us, yeah. Why they keep killing us? Okay, is, is it going to be any different? That's a good point. Anyway, I, I, I this is going to go on. What's what is today? Is this Friday? Okay, all right. I, we I didn't do a, do a good a good. Um, no, because you went you 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 went off with the virus thing, which to me is 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 it's. it's, it's 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 another issue. 
I, I gotta talk. I got, I'm talking to a guy on Sunday. Might be able to talk me down. Between now and then, I'm gonna try to find somebody else to maybe talk me down because this well, is listen, terrible. Listen, I have to tell you, I was I was traumatized. Okay, when our sorority sister went, you know, went like by the Bengals. I was okay. with this thing. Okay. You, you know who? Oh, I don't know yeah, if you, yeah. you know her. Um, one of the, she was on the grad chapter. Okay, but because she had chest, she had what amounts to is if there was a regular emergency, okay, she had it. All right? And then people weren't going to the hospitals at that time. Mm. So as much as, you know, the solution would have been go to a regular hospital. I don't know. They give you an EKG and something, something. She could be alive today. But yeah, because well, she had... She had, I don't know, almost like an asthma attack or, or you know, or, or who knows what, a stroke. She, she passed on yeah. as part of this whole thing. Okay. Okay, listen, so, we, we talk long, you know, I use this channel to, to, to how do you say, to sort of like um, make sure mem things that's going through my head, you know what I mean? So it's not really for people to look at, you know, we don't monetize nothing like that. But thank you for trying to talk me down. Maybe after the elections, You'll have some other thoughts. I'll talk to you another time. Is that all right? Oh, no, but thank you. No, thank you for the, you no, for just cementing my desire to do do something constructive with the vote. Mm -hmm. That was worthwhile. That, that was worth the discussion in my book. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I'll i think uh, along and on the other issue, but I wish somebody was here in New York giving that kind of perspective. Okay, we need that kind of stuff. Okay, and I've been hollering for it. Okay, why don't we have that? Why aren't we uh, through with this uh, electoral college crap? It just needs to be uh, undone. And a guy can't. Oh, you might be interested in this. And in terms of that, he's saying it's a simple issue. If you get enough of the state of the enough of the states that say they're going to give all their votes to whoever wins the popular vote. For the entire nation, not just the popular vote in your state, the popular vote for the entire nation, okay? And they had 15 states that signed on to that. And if they could have gotten the more, I don't know how many they needed to get to get some. some. Some like 23. Okay. He said, we don't need anything more than that. Yeah, but if you get if you go that route, then you also have to have a constitutional convention and that's going to open up a no, whole bunch of other things. He said no, no, because it doesn't spell out those rules that they make up about delegates and all of that. They are not spelled out any other place that has has any kind of sanction. Okay. So he said, yeah, listen to W. Who, who was who was he on? He was on this um this morning. Oh. Uh, what is afternoon? Twelve o'clock. I think he was on twelve o'clock. Okay, whatever. Okay. I'll check. I'll, I don't know if I checked. I got some other. I got so much other stuff to do. And that's I okay. Done my that's reading. okay. No, but that was the one that I thought was encouraging because yeah. that was my other concern was yeah. to get rid of abolish the electoral. Conference. Yeah. All right. I'll check you okay, later. Thank you. Thanks it's a lot. Great talking. All right and, now. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna follow up with that um uh vet thing. Okay. Vet. Thank you. All right. Have yeah. a good day. All right.